When you first set up a Xero account, you'll be asked if you want to use the Xero standard chart of accounts or if you want to import your own. Once you have a chart of accounts within your Xero, you can make amendments and add new accounts from the main dashboard. If you go to the Settings tab and General Settings and Chart of Accounts. There are two ways to amend your chart of accounts. You can export as a CSV file, make the changes and import back into Xero, or you can edit from within this screen. We can add bank accounts, credit card accounts and PayPal accounts from this button. I'm going to add a bank account. I'm, you need to choose the actual bank that you bank with, so I'm going to put HSBC here. Then you get a drop down and then you need to choose which particular type of account that you have with the bank. Then Xero will tell you where the bank feeds are available. You can't actually set up bank feeds from here, you have to do that at a later point, but it does tell you whether they are available or not. You then need to give the account a name of how you want it to appear in Xero. So I'm just going to go HSBC current account. And then you need to give it a unique code. In my chart of accounts, my bank accounts that I've got already, I've given the code 090 and 091. So I'm going to give this one 092. This demo company that I'm using is a premium account in Xero, which means I'm able to set up other currencies. I haven't got any other currencies set up in here, so I'm just going to use the GP, GBP. Then I need to put in my sort code and my account number. And save. And here we have this. The bank account has now been set up in my chart of accounts. I now want to add another nominal code or an account code here, so I can use this button, add an account. Now the first thing I need to choose is the account type, and this is an important part of placing this nominal code in the chart of accounts, or how it affects the reports. So you can see on the right hand side, all the uh, account types that appear on the profit and loss and all the account types that appear on the balance sheet. So it depends where you want your uh, code, this particular code that you're setting up to appear. If you're in any doubt, then do ask your accountant. I'm going to set up a revenue account. So I'm typing revenue, although I could have chosen it from my drop down. I'm going to give this a unique code again. So my other revenue counts are actually 200, 260, 270. So I'm going to give this one 250. And it's for my admin fees. I can give it a description if I wish to. And then I need to make sure this is the default VAT code that I want, 20% VAT on income, and it is. If it's not, I need to choose from the drop down. Then I have the choice of ticking three boxes if I want to. So the first box, if I tick this box, this revenue account will show on my main dashboard under the accounts watch list, which is in the top right hand corner. And it will show the current month balance as well as the year to date balance. I could also show this in the expense claims where staff can do their expense claims through Xero, but they need to choose an account code. So I can select which account codes they can choose from. And then the third one is to enable payments to this account as opposed to a bank account. So I'm not going to tick any of those and save this account. And here it's appeared in my chart of accounts here. If I want to make any changes to any accounts, I can just uh, open up the account and make any changes here already that I have or tick any of the boxes. Once I've made changes, I need to remember to save. If there are any accounts in my chart of accounts uh, that have never been used and um, they can be deleted if I never want to use them and I want to remove them from this chart. So we know that this admin fees that I've just created has never been used. So I can tick this and then I can use the delete button at the top. Okay, I get a warning to say, do I really want to do that? And I do. 
Now, if you ha we have account codes in our chart of accounts that are no longer used, but they have been used in the past, we won't be able to delete those, but we can archive them to remove them from the main list. They would still show in any reports on the relevant dates if there was transactions on those dates. So let me choose, say, this cleaning account. It has been used in the past, but it, I'm not going to use it in the future. I tick it and then select archive and OK. Now, if you're unsure about anything about your chart of accounts, if you're unsure if you want the zero chart of accounts or a different chart of accounts or how to set up the different nominal codes, then, then do consult your accountant and make sure that you've got it all set up correctly.